story this half hour, opening statements in the Kendrick Morris rape trial, and the victim herself was the first to take the stand. Action News reporter Elizabeth Dinn is live in downtown Tampa. She brings us the newest developments from court. Good afternoon, Elizabeth. Dia, good afternoon. The former daycare worker was clearly nervous when she took the stand. She went on to tell the jury that it was very often she would arrive at the Claremail daycare where she worked, arrive there very early, around 5.30 in the morning. She'd be the first there and be all alone for about 30 minutes or so. And she did it because she'd make breakfast for the children there. But then it was one morning she was attacked at that same place where she taught kids she was raped. This trial kicked off with state prosecutors talking to the jury in their opening statement statement saying they are confident evidence is what proves Kendrick Morris is guilty of raping the former daycare worker. Now the young man who is 19 years old now but was 15 at the time of the crime sat quietly and was emotionless this morning. The victim was 62 years old when attacked and she was so upset during her testimony that a break was called before she was able to resume. And before her emotional testimony though listen in as public defender Rocky Brancato asked the jury to scrutinize DNA evidence in this case. The thing about that DNA is that's the only evidence that they're going to have in this case is the DNA. There's not going to be anything that corroborates it. I reached back to close the door. I saw this person came up. He had a ski mask on his gloves. His left hand caught the door and his right hand had a knife. <laughs> I can tell you that there is also surveillance video that was caught at that daycare center. Although the rape suspect had on a ski mask, that is something that we know will be introduced to the jury later on in this trial, but hasn't been just yet. It is important to also note that Kendrick Morris is also accused of raping a teenage girl at the Bloomingdale Library several months after this daycare attack. But defense attorneys have made it clear even before this trial began that they want to keep all of that separate. They don't want that to sway the jury in any way whatsoever. Reporting live in downtown Tampa, Elizabeth Din, ABC Action News. Thanks, Elizabeth. Attorneys for Polk County's worst mass murderer want a new trial.